Hey everybody and welcome to another Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name's Brady and today we're gonna to show you how to tie a high-vis parachute VWO. So this fly is gonna start out on a TMC hook. This is the 102Y, I'm doing a size 19 today. Then our thread we're gonna use is the 14 aught Vivis in gray. This is the B05 color code. Our tail and our hackle on this fly is gonna be a little bit of whiting white dyed light done this is an awesome color from whiting i really like this color the body of our fly is going to be some bwo olive super fine dubbing from hairline and then we're going to use some pink poly post just to make it a little more visible on the water so to start out we have our hook set and our vise there i'm just going to start the thread once we have our thread secure there we can come in and tie in our poly post so i'm going to tie that in right on top of the hook shank here secure it down I'm gonna do just about a hook eye back from the on the hook on the shaft. We can come in and clip out our excess material there, and make sure we got it all secured down. So we'll cover up the back end here, where our body's gonna end up being. We got a frayed thread there, so we'll that out of here there we go and then we can work on making sure our post is flared nicely upright right on top of the hook shank here and come up and begin to work around it And up the shaft that we're going to create here, a nice working base for us for when we go to tie in our hackle. So right on up and then back down. And then we can go back to where we're going to tie in our tail. Use a little bit of wax just to kind of keep all that material up and together for now. So for the tail, I'm going to use just a little bit of the same hackle I'm going to use around the post. This is an awesome color from Whiting. It's their um, white dyed light done. You see it's barred just slightly. Gives a great color. Makes for an awesome fly. So we're just going to snag some of the barbels right off of the stem here. Try and keep them all lined up, all the points lined up, tips lined up rather. Just like so, Not you don't need too much for a small fly, but you want a nice, nice tail on there. So we'll tie those in right on the back. And secure them right back to where that hook bend is. And then we can trim out some of that excess. Using these new Dr. Slick Aeropoint scissors today. Great for small flies like this, super sharp. Um, brand new from Dr. Slick. Really amazing scissors. So I'll just do a little bit of cleanup work here. Make sure we still got our nice taper and then we can come in and dub our body out. So on such a small fly, you really don't need very much dubbing at all. Rule of thumb is always half as much as you want to put on. Start there and then work your way up. You can always add, it's a lot harder to remove. So we're just going to dub right over our thread, making a nice body here out of this olive dubbing. Great color from Hairline, I really like their, their specific BWO olive color. And I'm using just a little bit of 
glue and high tack wax with this to help make it a little bit tacky stick to the thread. And then before I go too far up to the thorax, I'm going to add our hackle material. So that's that same whiting farms, white dyed, light done. And we'll prep our feather. So you can see I picked one appropriate for the size of our hook here. Pick out some of those barbels so you get a nice tie-in point. And we'll tie that in right here behind the post on the side of the hook shank. And then I always like to come up and kind of secure it just right at the base of that post, like so. From there I can finish dubbing out the rest of our body with just a little bit more of this PWO dubbing. So we want to end our thread right there, right next to that poly post. I'm going to go up around it one time, just so that I'm secure around it. And then I'm going to grab my hackle, and we'll begin to wrap right around that post. Get that flare out the way that I want it to here, right sideways. And then we'll go a couple times up the poly post and then right back down quickly and then we can come around and sneak underneath everything around our post again and capture it out here just like so i like to turn my vise sideways and kind of keep my thread hanging downward so that nothing comes unraveled i can sneak in there with these super fine scissors clip out our butt ends anything that might have gotten trapped I'm going to go ahead and clip my post as well here now, short. And then we can give it a whip finish. And so the whip finish I'm actually going to do around the post, just like on a parachute atoms. To avoid seeing any of these threads, thread wraps. And just trying to avoid those hackle barbels as best I can. So pull that snug, come in and clip it out. And then we'll add a little bit of Zappa Gap glue underneath on that post. Make sure nothing comes undone on us. When we're fishing. But that's all there is to a parachute, a high-vis parachute BWO. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.